Manayam Shri Guru Shri Ra Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Manayam Shri Guru Shri Ra Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunatam Bitam Dham Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rara <coughs> Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vidamscha Oma Jnana Timaranda Shagyana Jana Shalakaya Chakshuram Melidam Yana Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Manjikopata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevaja Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Nama <coughs> Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gorata Vise Nama So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and Commentary by Srila Prabhupada This is Madhya Leela Chapter 1 uh, Text number Let's see We'll start with Text number 79, I believe. Now this is describing Mahaprabhu's thinking in the mood of Srimati Radharani during the Ratha Yatra. Rajabej Hati Gora Manusha Gahan Kahan Gopabej Kahan Nirjana Vrindavan Mahaprabhu in the mood of Srimati Radharani. She thought of Krishna in the calm and quiet atmosphere of Vrindavan dressed as a cowherd boy. But at Kurukshetra, he was in a royal dress and was accompanied by elephants, horses, and crowds of men. Thus, the atmosphere was not congenial for their meeting. So, this is Mahaprabhu's mood of separation during Ratha Yatra, he's feeling that as Srimati Radharani felt that meeting Krishna in Kurukshetra during the time of a, uh, when, every, when the residents of Vrindavan went to Kurukshetra and, and the residents of Dwarka, Krishna with so many queens and soldiers and horses, elephants. And Radharani met Krishna at that time uh, but didn't feel that the atmosphere was congenial to their to their meeting, and that's what Mahaprabhu is expressing during Ratha Yatra, when he say, saying that I, in the mood of Radharani wanting to take Krishna back to Vrindavan. Say Baba, say Krishna, say Vrindavan, Shabe Pai, Tabe Hoi, Manchita Puran. The meeting with Krishna and thinking of the Vrindavan atmosphere. Thus, meeting with Krishna and thinking of the Vrindavan atmosphere, Radharani longed for Krishna to take her to Vrindavan again to fulfill her desire in that calm atmosphere. Ahus chate nalina nava padara vindam yogeshvara ridi vichinjam agada bodai samsara kupa patito taranabalambam keham jusham api manasi udiyat sadhana. The gopis spoke thus, Dear Krishna, whose navel is just like a lotus flower, your lotus feet are the only shelter for those who have fallen into the deep well of material existence. Your feet are worshipped and meditated upon by great mystic yogis and highly learned philosophers. We wish that these lotus feet may also be awakened within our heart, although we are only ordinary persons engaged in household affairs. Tomara Chanana Mor Brajapura Gare Udai Koreye Jadi Tabi Bansha Pure. The Gopis thought, Dear Krishna, 
If your lotus feet again come to our home in Vrindavan, our desires will be fulfilled. Bhagavatera Shloka Gudar Gudarta Bishad Karanya Rupa Gosai Shloka Koile Loka Bhujaya. In one verse, Srila Rupa Goswami has explained the confidential meaning of the verse of Srimad Bhagavatam for the understanding of the general populace. Yate lila rasa primara lodgari vanya parita danya shoni vilasati vritta maturi maduri bi tatras mabis chatula pashupi baba bugdan tarabi samvitas tvam kalaya vananolasi venor viharam the go. Now, Bo Gopis continue, Dear Krishna, the fragrance of the mellows of your pastimes, of your lila ras, is, is spread throughout the forest of the glorious land of Vrindavan, which is surrounded by the sweetness of the district of Mathura. In the congenial atmosphere of that wonderful land, you may enjoy your pastimes with your flute dancing on your lips and surrounded by us, the Gopis, whose hearts are always enchanted by unpredictable ecstatic emotions. Imatama Prabhu Deke Jagannate Subhadra Sahita Deke Bhamsinahi Hate. In this way, when Mahaprabhu saw Jagannath, he saw that the Lord was with his sister Subhadra and was not holding a flute in his hand. Yes, Subhadra never, Subhadra was in Dwarka, Subhadra never went to, never was in Vrindavan, never went there. So. Naturally, Jagannath Baladeva Subhadra is the, 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 uh, the temple of, of Jagannath is, is like Dwarka, uh, Nilad, Nilachala. And when they go to Gundicha, Gundicha is like going to Vrindavan. Trivanga Sundara Braje Brajendra Nandan Kahan Pabe Bansha Bore Anukan Absorbed in the ecstasy of the gopis, Mahaprabhu wished to see Lord Jagannath in his original form as Krishna, the son of Nandamar, standing in Vrindavan and appearing very beautiful, his body curved in three places. His desire to see that form was always increasing. Radhika Unmada Jaichi Udavadarshane Udgurna Pralapataiche Prabhura Ratridine. Just as Srimati Radharani talked inconsistently with a bumblebee in the presence of Uddhava, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his ecstasy talked crazily and inconsistently day and night. Dwarashambatsara Sesha Aiche Gonaila Emata Sesha Lila Tribhidane Koila. The last twelve years of Mahaprabhu were passed in this craziness, in this transcendental craziness. Thus he executed his last pastimes in three ways. So, after Mahaprabhu took sannyas, he took sannyas at the age of 24. Then he was present in this world for 24 more years. For six years, he traveled throughout India, sometimes to South India, sometimes to Bengal, sometimes to, sometimes to Vrindavan. That's his Madhya Leela. Then in his Antya Leela, the last 18 years, six years are spent engaged in chanting and kirtan with the devotees. And the last 12 years are spent with, in deep separation uh, with the mood of Srimati Radharani, a madness which has been shown when Krishna was in Dwarka and he sent Uddhava to uh, visit the residents of Vrindavan. And, uh, while Uddhava was there, Radharani, in his deep separation, was the presence of Uddhava talking to a bumblebee. But basically what she was saying to the bumblebee was equating uh, the bumblebee to, to the position of Uddhava, because she referred to the bumblebee as the unreliable, me the, uh, unre the messenger of an unreliable master which is Krishna, and she talked incoherently to the bumblebee and everything she said was 
like relating with the position of Uddhava coming there to give her a message from Krishna. So the last 12 years of Mahaprabhu were passed in this transcendental craziness. Thus he executed his last pastimes in three ways. Sanyas kore chavisha vatsara koila jay jay karma ananda paratara ke jani be marma. For the 24 years after Mahaprabhu accepted the renounced order, whatever pastimes he executed were unlimited and unfathomable. Who can understand the purport of such pastimes? Udesha kore te kore. For the 24 years after Mahaprabhu accepted the renounced order, whatever pastimes he executed were unlimited and unfathomable. Who can understand the purport of such pastimes? Udesha kore te kore dig darshan mukya mukya lila kore sutra ganan. Just to indicate those pastimes, I am now presenting a general survey of the chief pastimes in the form of a synopsis. Pratama Sutra Prabhu Sanyas Karan Sanyas Kore Chalila Prabhu Sri Brindavan. This is the first synopsis. After accepting the Sanyas order, Mahaprabhu proceeded toward Vrindavan. Premete Vivalabhaya Nahika Smaran Radhadeshi Tindin Kore Labraman. When proceeding toward Vrindavan, Mahaprabhu was overwhelmed with ecstatic love for Krishna and he lost all remembrance of the external world. In this way, he traveled continuously for, for three days in Radhadesh, uh, the country, the con saying, the country where the Ganges River does not flow. So we'll say more, this more or less equates to the western side of the Ganges. Nityananda Prabhu Ma Prabhu Bhulaya Gangatiri Loya Aila Jamuna Bolia. First of all, Lord Nityananda bewildered Mahaprabhu by bringing him along the banks of the Ganges, saying that it was the river Jamuna. Shantipuri acharjara grihe agaman pratama bhikkha koila tahan ratre sankirtan. After three days, Mahaprabhu came to the house of Advaita Acharya at Shantipur and accepted alms there. There was his first, this was his first acceptance of alms at night he performed congregational chanting there. So acceptance of sanya of alms, pardon me, acceptance of alms means that Mahaprabhu had been fasting for three days as he wandered, ho hoping to go to Vrindavan. He was overwhelmed and he didn't know if it was day or night and he wasn't eating. So now he was brought, brought to the, after three days, he's brought to the banks of the Ganga and told that this is the Jamuna. Matabhakta Ganar Tahan Korila Milan Sarva Samad Samadana Kore Koila Niladregaman. That trick was arranged by Nityananda Prabhu. At the house of Advaita Prabhu, he met his mother as well as all the devotees from Mayapur. He adjusted everything and then went to Jagannath Puri. So all the devotees, knowing that he taken sannyas and he was leaving home, it was arranged after three days wandering that he was brought to the house of Advaita Charya, Sachi Mata went there with all the devotees from Navadip and for some days they were there in the house of Advaita Charya with Mahaprabhu chanting, dancing and taking, uh, taking, there was, you know, like a feast every, every day. And then finally, uh, under the, by the order, by the request of, of of Sachi Mata, Mahaprabhu's mother, he went to Jagannath Puri. Pate Nana Lila Ras Devadarshan Madhava Purir Kata Gopalastapan. On the way toward Jagannath Puri, Mahaprabhu performed many other pastimes. He visited various temples and heard the story about Madhavendra Puri and the installation of Gopal. Kirchuri Kata Saki Gopal Bibaran Nityananda Koila Prabhu Danda. Banjan from Nityananda Prabhu, Mahaprabhu heard the story of Chir Churi Gopinath and of the witness Gopal Sakshi Gopal. Then Nityananda broke the sannyas rod belonging to Mahaprabhu. Kruda hoya eka gela jaganat dekite dekia murchita hoya padite bhumite. After a sannyas rod was broken by Nityananda Prabhu, Mahaprabhu apparently became very angry and left his company to travel alone to, to the Jagannath temple. When Mahaprabhu entered the Jagannath temple and saw Lord Jagannath, he immediately lost his 
senses and fell to the floor. He fell unconscious. Sarva Bhoma Loya Gela Apana Bhavan Tritiya Prabhare Prabhur Hoyla Chaitan. After Ma Prabhu saw Lord Jagannath in the temple and fell down unconscious, Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya took him to his home. The Lord remained unconscious until the afternoon when he finally regained his consciousness. Nityananda Jagadananda Damodharma Kunda Pachayase Miligasave Paila Ananda. The Lord had left Nityananda's company and gone alone to the Jagannath temple, but later Jag Nityananda, Jagannananda, Damodar Makunda came to see him, and after seeing him, they were very pleased. Tabe Sarvabhome Prabhu Prasad Korila Apana Ishwara Murte Tare Dekaila. After this incident, Mahaprabhu bestowed his mercy upon Sarvabhome Bhattacharya by showing him his original form as the Lord. Tabe Ta Korila Prabhu. Dakina Gaman Kurma Ketre Koila Basudeva Mimochan. After bestowing mercy upon Sarvabhom Bhattacharya, the Lord started for southern India. When he came to Kurma Chetra, he delivered a person named Vasudeva. Chiyara Nishinge Koila Nishinga Stavan Pate Pate Grame Grame Nama Pravartan. After visiting Kurma Chetra, the Lord visited the South Indian temple of, of Jiyata Nishinga and offered his prayers to Lord Nishingadev. On his way, he introduced the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra in every village. Godavari Tirebani Brindavana Brahma Ramananda Roy Saha Tahai Milan Once the Lord took the forest on the bank of the river Godavari to be Vrindavan in that place he happened to meet Ramananda Roy. Trimala Tripada Stana Koila Darshan Sarvatra Korila Krishna Nama Pracharan. He visited the places known as Tirumala and Tirupati, where he extensively preached the chanting of the Lord's holy name. Tabita Apa Shandigane Korila Dalan Ahovala Nishingadi Koila Darshan. After visiting the temples of Trimala and Tirupati, Mahaprabhu had to subdue some atheists. He then visited the temples. The, he then visited the temple of a whole Hovala Nishinga. Sri Ranga Shetraila Kabir Kabarir Tira Sri Ranga Dekiya Preme Hoila Astira. When Mahaprabhu came to the land of Sri Ranga Chetra on the bank of the of the Kaveri, he visited the temple of Sri Ranganath and was there overwhelmed in the ecstasy of love of God. It, Trimala Bhattaragari Koila Prabhur Bhas Tahai Rahila Prabhu Barsha Charimas Mahaprabhu lived at the house of Trimala Bhatta for the four months of the rainy season. Sri Vaishnava Trimala Bhatta Parama Pandit Gosaira Panditya Prime Hoila Vishmita Trimala Bhatta was both a member of the Sri Vaishnava community and a learned scholar. Therefore, when he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was both a great scholar and a great devotee of the Lord, he was very much astonished. Chaturmashataha Prabhu Sri Vaishnavera Sane Gonaila Nitya Gita Krishna Sankirtane Mahaprabhu passed the Chaturmasha with the Sri Vaishnava singing, chanting the holy name and dancing. The Sri Vaishnavas are the Vaishnavas of Ramanuja Charya. Chaturmasya Ante Puna Dakina Gaman, the Sampradaya of Ramanuja Charya. Chaturmasya Ante Puna Dakina Gaman, Paramananda Purisaha Tahai Milan. After the end of Chaturmasya, Mahaprabhu continued traveling throughout South India. At that time, he met Paramananda Puri. Tabe Bharatari Hoite Krishna Dasat Udar Ramajapi Vipramukhe Krishna Nama Prachar. After this, Krishna Das, the servant of Mahaprabhu, was delivered from the clutches of the Bhattacharis. Mahaprabhu then preached that Lord Krishna's name should also be chanted by Brahmins who were accustomed to chanting Lord Rama's name. In the Maladar district, a section of the Brahmins are known as Nambudari Brahmins and the Bhattacharis are their priests. Bhattacharis know many tantric black arts 
such as the art of killing a person, of bringing him under submission, and of destroying or devastating him. They are very expert in these plaque arts, and one such Bhattatari bewildered the personal servant of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu while the servant accompanied the Lord in his travels through South India. Somehow or other, Mahaprabhu delivered this Krishna Das from the clutches of the Bhattatari. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is well known as Patita Pavan. Patita Pavan, Pavan, the savior of the fallen souls, and he proved this in his behavior towards his personal servant, Krishna Das, whom he saved. Sometimes the word Bhattatari is misspelled in Bengal as Bhattamari. Sri Rangapuri Saha Tahai Milan, Ramadas Viprer, Kuala Dukkha Vimochan. Mahaprabhu then met Sri Rangapuri and mitigated all the sufferings of a Brahmin named Ramadas. Tatvabari Saha Koila Tatvara Bijar, Apanake Hinabudi, Hoila Tasavar. Mahaprabhu also had a discussion with the tat Tatvabari community, and the Tatvabaris felt themselves to be inferior Vaishnavas. The Tattvavadi sect belonged to Madhvacharya's Vaishnava community, but its behavior differs, differs from the strict Madhvacharya Vaishnava principles. There is one monastery named Uttararadi, and one of its commanders was named Raghuvarya Tirta Madhvacharya. So Mahaprabhu is actually in the Brahma Madhva Sampradaya, so he's in this Madhva Sampradaya, but, but it's said that before Madhavendra Puri, the Madhvacharya Sampradaya, uh, you know, didn't, didn't have um, any understanding of the higher rasas that, that Madhavendra Puri presented and that Mahaprabhu also came to give. So in a conversation here, it says, Mahaprabhu also had a, a discussion with the Tattvavadi community and the Tattvavadis felt themselves to be inferior Vaishnavas. Because Mahaprabhu asked them, what is the goal of life? And they tried to f flatter him by saying the goal of life is to be, is to practice the Varnashram Dharma system. Mahaprabhu said, and by doing so, one attains liberation. Mahaprabhu said, Varnashram, Varnashram Dharma may be an ordering of society, but it's not the goal of life. The goal of life is develop, developing love of God, and he said the goal of life is not uh, not to come to the point of liberation. The Vaishnavas don't look to liberation as a goal. He told them the goal of life is to develop love of God, and the process of doing so is by Shravanam Kirtanam. So he said, you're trying to flatter me because you know in Varnashram Dharma, that the highest position is the Brahman, and of the Brahmins, the highest position is a sannyasi. And because you're seeing me as a sannyasi, you're saying this, and it's it's a, like an attempt to just flatter me. So he said, he said, this is not the goal of life. So they felt themselves to be inferior Vaishnavas when Mahaprabhu corrected them. Ananda Purusha, Purushottama, Sri Janardhan, Padmanabha Vasudeva Koila Darshan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then visited the Vishnu temples of Nantadeva Purushottama, Sri Janardhan, Padmanabha, and, and Vasudeva. This is during Mahaprabhu's South India tour. Now, all of this, which is being presented here as a summary, will be, uh, we're, in, we're beginning, this is the first chapter of the Madhya Leela, and this will all be explained in a uh, detailed way in the Madhva, in the, pardon me, in the Madhya Leela. In, in the Madhya, in this volume of the Madhya Leela. There's Adi Leela, Madhya Leela, and, and Antya Leela. And this is a summary of the Madhya Leela. Tabe Prabhu Koila Saptatala Vimochan Setubande Snana Rameshvara Darshan. After that, Mahaprabhu delivered the celebrated Saptatala trees, took his bath at Setubanda Rameshwar, and visited the temple of Lord Shiva known as Rameshwara. Tahai Kurila Kurma Puranashravan Mayasitan 
Nilayaka, Ravana Taha Telikan, at Rameshwar, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had, had a chance to read the Kurma Purana in which he discovered that the form of Sita kidnapped by Ravana was not that of the real Sita, but a mere shadow representation, or we'll say Maya Sita. Sri Pura, Puratana Patra Agraha Kore Nila Ramadase Nikaya Dukkha Kandala. Indeed, Mahaprabhu eagerly uh, took this page from the Korma Purana, although the book was very old, and he later showed it to Ramadas Vipra, whose unhappiness was mitigated. Ramadas Vipra was practically on the point of death and was fasting because he was so upset that Sita had been kidnapped by Ramada, by Ravana, pardon me, Rama. Ramadas was devastated because thinking that how Sita had been taken by Ravana, but, but Mahaprabhu brought this, these pages from, oh actually they're leaves, they're palm leaves copied from the manuscript or the original from the manuscript that Mahaprabhu replaced. And it showed that, that who Ravana really took was not the real form of Sita, but we can say a representation of Sita that was presented just f for her, for um, Ravana to take, but not the real Sita. It was Brahma Samhita, Karnamrita Dui Putti Paya, Dui Pushtaka Loya Aila to Uttama Janiya. Mahaprabhu also found two other books, namely the Brahma Samhita and, and Krishna Karnamrita, knowing these books to be excellent. He took them to present to his devotees. Punarabini Lachale Gaman Korila, Bhaktagane Miliya Snana Jatra Dekila. After collecting the books, Mahaprabhu returned to Jagannath Puri. At that time, the bathing ceremony of Jagannath was taking place and he sought Snanyatra. Anabhasare Jagannathare Napaya Darshan Virahe Alala Natha Kurilagaman. When Jagannath was absent from the temple, Mahaprabhu could not see him, felt separation, and left Jagannath Puri to go to a place known as Alala Nath. So, uh, I apologize for, for some technical difficulties we had in being able to present this broadcast on time, but uh, I'll continue tomorrow with the summary that uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj is presenting of the, um, of the Madhya Leela. I want to be a I want to be able to present the Chaitanya Charitamrita, and that's why we're we're broadcasting it somehow or other for the satisfaction of those devotees who want to see this. Now, sometimes in in setting it up, we've run into some technical difficulties. So today was one of those days. So our class is a little short. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama
Tuesday, we won't be broadcasting Tuesday when I return, then we'll broadcast again. Jai. Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridhari Joki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Charyashta Tara Sata Shishi Mad. Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Charya Ashtadara Sata Shri Srimad Srila Bhakti Rakak Sri Radev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sridanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Gaur Ki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Sat Sri Dhananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarvabhom Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Bhargha Ki Jai Namachari Srila Hari Asakur Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath, Shri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath, Shad Goswami Prabhu Gijai, Premzi Go, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasudhi Shri Gaurabhatta Vrinda Kijai, Shri La Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Gijai, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Kijai, Shri La Rupa, Shri La Vrindavan Das Sakur Kijai, Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat Kijai, Jai Om Vishnu Paj, Shri La Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada ki jai. Jai Om Vishnupada Srila Bhakti Nirmala Charya Maharaj ki jai. Ananda Koti Vaishnava Rinda ki jai. Shri Navadip Dham ki jai. Shri Namayapur ki jai. Saparshita Shri Nityananda Prabhu ki jai. Saparshita Shri Mahaprabhu ki jai. Shri Kuladvip ki jai. Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat ki jai. Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram ki jai. Ganga Devi ki jai. Tulasi Manarani ki jai, Bhakti Devi ki jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan, Sham Kun Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Jew ki jai, Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda ki jai, Shri Hari Nam Sankirtan ki jai, all the assembled devotees ki jai, Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bhagavad Gita, Shri Pad Bhakti Chandan Parvat Maharaj ki jai, Gaur Pramanande Hari Shri Akadasi Upavas Ki Jai.